The James Webb Telescope Project is by far the most extensive exploration and research endeavor the space community has witnessed. If you're aware of what's been happening in recent times, you'll know that this $10 billion technological marvel has been the talk of the town not only for space connoisseurs, but for humanity as a whole. Its incredible view into the stars has given us some incredible images so far, even though it isn't even completely functional. Let's look at some of the images the James Webb Telescope sent back and how it intends to study black holes. The Webb was launched from the European spaceport in French Guiana on the 25th of December last year, arriving at its final orbit between Earth and the Sun on January 24th. Since then, it's been calibrating its mirrors and slowly bringing each of them into focus simultaneously capturing images of its surroundings. Over a month after NASA parked the James Webb Telescope at 2nd Lagrange Point, L2, the spot that was intended to be used for optimum accuracy of the web, around 1 million miles away, the telescope kicked things off with the first images of a star. The world's most powerful observatory beamed back the image of HD 84406. The image wasn't intended for scientific operations, but as a test shot to see how its 18 hexagonal mirrors work together for a single coordinated image. HD 84406 is about 256 light years away from the Earth, and this image served as an initial milestone for the alignment process of the 18 mirrors that are being used by the web along with its NERCAM. This is where things were just getting started. After completing the self-assembly of its 18-segmented main mirror, the telescope had taken exceptional images of an unexceptional star as a test of its capabilities. HD 84406 is 100 times fainter than what can be seen with the human eye. But what really piqued the interest of astronomers was the spray of tiny dots scattered across the background. Each is a distant galaxy, and this is the first time we've ever been able to capture them. NASA officials had a lot to say about these first images. We said last fall that we would know that the telescope is working properly when we have an image of a star that looks like a star. Now you're seeing that image, and I'm happy to say that the optical performance of the telescope is absolutely phenomenal. It is really working extremely well. The performance is as good, if not better, than our most optimistic prediction said Lee Feinberg, Webb's optical telescope element manager at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. These first images weren't meant for scientific purposes. Instead, they were used as engineering images designed to test how smoothly things were shaping up to be. The $10 billion telescope is staggeringly complex in design, which generally means that the stakes are pretty high compared to the Hubble telescope that orbits the Earth within our reach to service. The James Webb Telescope, on the other hand, sits approximately 3,000 times further away orbiting the Sun. While this massively extends our view of deep space, it also means that there is little to no option of adjusting and fixing the instrument. The incredible amount of stress that the researchers and engineers had to go through to ensure each and every component of the telescope was perfect before launching it into space was enormous even though it had its fair share of delays. Currently, as of this month, the James Webb Telescope, which is reaching close to beginning scientific operations, has once again shown why this instrument was so expensive and meticulous to develop. It flared its optical prowess while undergoing testing and beamed back the latest test pictures of a neighboring satellite galaxy. The results are breathtaking when compared with images taken by NASA's previous infrared observatory, the Spitzer Space Telescope. The science team captured the image as they focused the web's coldest instrument, the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, which cleared the view of a part of the large megalenic cloud that has a dense star field. The same patch of sky was also captured by the retired Spitzer Telescope, which was the first to provide high-resolution images of the near and mid-infrared universe. Each of the 18 mirror segments on the new telescope is substantially bigger than the single one on Spitzer. 
The James Webb Space Telescope will study the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. Webb will join forces with numerous telescopes to understand the nature of the supermassive black hole called Sagittarius A-star, which has a tendency to flare up on an hourly basis, making it very difficult to take a picture of. Joining Webb investigators will be a team working with the Event Horizon Telescope, or EHT, made up of eight ground-based radio telescopes that captured the first ever image of a black hole, M87, back in 2019. Although Sagittarius A-star is way closer than M87, its flickering nature makes it a much more difficult target. Webb officials said in a statement, while M87's core presented a steady target, Sagittarius A-star exhibits mysterious flickering flares on an hourly basis, which make the imaging process much more difficult. Webb will assist with its own infrared images of the black hole region, providing data about when flares are present that will be a valuable reference to the EHT team. According to NASA, the flares are due to the temporary but intense acceleration of particles around the black hole that is too much higher energies with corresponding light emissions. A huge advantage to observe Sagittarius A-star with Webb will be the capability of capturing data in two infrared wavelengths simultaneously and continuously from the telescope's location behind the moon. Webb will have an uninterrupted view, observing cycles of flaring and calm that the EHT team can use for reference with their own data, resulting in a much cleaner image. The source or mechanism that causes Sagittarius A-star's flares is highly debated. Answers as to how Sagittarius A-star's flares begin, peak, and dissipate could have far-reaching implications for the future study of black holes as well as particle and plasma physics, and even flares from the sun. It is expected that the Webb and EHT joining forces will provide more information regarding what causes the flares, which in turn could provide insights for studying black holes, solar flares, or particle and plasma physics more generally. We want to know how the universe works because we are a part of the universe. Black holes could hold clues to some of these big questions. Said Farad Yusuf Zadeh, an astrophysicist at Northwestern University in Illinois, in a statement. The first physical black hole ever discovered was spotted in 1971, yeah, later than the first EHT image of M87 in 2019, provided direct visual proof that Einstein's black hole prediction was correct. Black holes are a proving ground for Einstein's theory, and the hope is this first collaboration between Webb and EHT will allow for more telescope time in space in future years. Black holes, predicted by Albert Einstein as part of his general theory of relativity, are the opposite in meaning. Rather than an empty hole in space, black holes are the densest, tightly packed regions of matter known. A black hole's gravitational field is so strong that it warps the fabric of space around itself, and any material that gets too close is bound there forever, along with any light the material emits. This is why black holes appear black. Any light detected by telescopes is not actually from the black hole itself, but the area surrounding it. Scientists call the ultimate inner edge of that light the event horizon, and that is where the EHT collaboration gets its name. The EHT image of M87 in 2019 was proof that Einstein's black hole prediction was correct, and black holes continue to be a proving ground for Einstein's theory. Scientists hope that well-formulated and scheduled multi-wavelength observations of Sagittarius A-star by EHT, Webb, X-ray, and other instruments will reduce the margin of error on general relativity calculations, or this could perhaps point to new realms of physics we are yet to understand. What do you think the James Webb Telescope will reveal about Sagittarius A-star? And what other unanswered questions will be unveiled with the help of Webb? Let us know in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching.